Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to talk about the model layer. So the model layer provides us with functionality to connect to an actual database. But uh, for the purposes of this application, I'm not going to connect to an actual database. Uh, we're going to use a JSON file as our database and we're going to grab this model component and use it to connect to that um, uh, to that JSON file. Now, the reason that I, uh, I do not, uh, I, I didn't provide you with an actual database for this first full stack application is, uh, there are a lot of stuff that are new. There are a lot of stuff that we are basically piecing together uh, for this application. So there's a lot of concepts that I'm introducing in each of these lectures. Now, if I wanted to like provide database connectivity in this first application, then it would overwhelm you like more than that. I more than I want you to be overwhelmed. So uh, I am, I, I do promise you that uh, th uh, I'm going to provide you with an application that is a Flask application. So you're gonna have two Flask applications and um, the second Flask application is going to have uh, a database connectivity through SQL Alchemy. So I do have planned that app as well. I've not created it yet, but I'm in the process of creating it behind the scenes. But if you look at the course curriculum, because whenever you're enrolled, it means that the course is completed by then, and you're going to see that there is another Flask application as well. And uh, that comes right after the next application, which is uh, full stack web development with Django, then you're going to have another Flask application. So in this lecture, in this project, I just want to keep things simple, as simple as possible. And we're just going to focus on the Flask side of the stuff, not the database side. So first things first, what I'm going to do is I do have a JSON file created beforehand. Well, actually, I've created this file for my JavaScript course questions that Jason so in case you're wondering about this is for those of you who come from my JavaScript course you're you who do have uh, this application this is one of my very favorite applications of that course it is an animal trivia quiz application and we had a lot of fun creating that application in JavaScript there was a lot of code a lot of cool logic as well and the reason that I incorporated that in Python course was that um, I just wanted to provide like a connectivity point between JavaScript course and the Python course like for those of you who are coming from the JavaScript course or for those of you who are thinking to go to my JavaScript course you are going to say ha huh, I have seen this project before like something like that and also that you should know that there is one there is more than one way to create an application so in that case i created that application using pure html css and javascript but in here there is no javascript there is just html css well css is not even that required but still html css flask python and all of that good stuff so the stack that we are working with in here is going to be a lot different than what I've done in the JavaScript course. The application is going to behave sort of in the same way, like I think 70, 75% in the same way. There are a lot of functionality that I've removed from application when I recreated that for this course, because th those were not like very easy to do with Flask. So uh, let's just move on from this topic. So we do have our questions here. Now, the um, how can we connect to this database? So we know that questions that JSON uh, behaves like our database. So the way that we can connect to this is I'm going to create within the main directory, I'm going to create a file model dot. Okay, I'm just going to click on this. Come on, buddy. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to say model.py. I'm not going to give it any name. It's just a model.py. Now within here, I'm going to say import JSON. So this is going to be the model layer, import JSON. And I'm going to say, um, uh, let's create a function, load database with, let's open the JSON file as well. So the name is questions.json. We have talked a lot about this with statement, how we can open, I'm not, so I'm not going to dive into details anymore. From this function, I just want to return 
uh, a, 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 this JSON module that is going to load our questions from the JSON file into our web application. So I'm just going to say load, and then I'm going to pass in the file, which represents the questions.json. At the end, I'm going to store the function call within the DB. But as you can see, there is still no connection. There is no link between this model.py and our lecture. So let's go ahead and let's import that. So I'm going to say from model import and then let's import db. So now that we have imported this db variable or object from this model, we can use that. How can we use that? So before moving forward within the templates uh, folder i'm going to create a new file and i'm going to call it quiz.html now this quiz.html is going to contain all of our questions this is going to contain those questions so within here i'm going to create the basic boilerplate and uh, we're going to call it um, basically the same name so i'm going to say animal trivia app and I could create uh, the content, but I'm not going to. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. Let's go to our uh, Flask application. Let's create the view function for this. So what do you think the view function should be for that? First off, we need to provide it with the uh, URL. Where do you want it to be uh, located? So we know that we need to provide the slash with any other sub URLs that we are going to have sub pages because this is a multi page application, so we are going to have different view functions. Now, you could have it at the quiz dot uh, whatever, you could have it at questions or at anything that you want. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to write questions. Uh, questions. So whenever you access this URL, you're going to be able to see all the questions. Then let's create the view function. So what is the view function going to do? It is going to grab all the functions, uh, sorry, all the questions, and it is going to view them. So I'm just going to call this function questions view. Now, uh, I'm going to create a variable questions uh, underscore DB or database. Let's grab our database, which we have imported, and I'm going to grab the item with the index one, sorry, with the index of zero. And then we are going to say render, and we know that we should render template, but we need to return it first. So I'm going to say render template. Now, for, uh, remember, the first argument is always going to be the name of that HTML file. So quiz.html. I'm just going to say quiz.html. So uh, if we reload this page, we don't see anything here. But if we go to questions, let's save that. We don't see anything here as well. We don't see any errors, so that's a good thing. It means that our slash questions URL, as you can see, we made a get request. And if you just look to the bottom in the terminal, we made a get request, which, which had a status of 200 to this URL, which was successful. But it is empty. Why is it empty? Because, um, and it basically says, I think that you have an unused variable. Don't worry about it. We are going to use this. Now, it is empty because we don't have anything within the markup. So let's try to add some markup. Now, I'm going to say, I'm going to create a div element and I'm going to give it a class of content. The reason that I'm providing it class now is because later on we are going to style this. So I don't want to come over to this HTML and rearrange this HTML just to confuse you further. I'm going to create another div element and I'm going to call it, I'm going to give it a class of question. Now, these div elements, what is their functionality? Their functionality div basically stands for divisions. So whenever you want to create divisions within your HTML code, you use div. So what divisions do is they combine some pieces of code together. So some some like for example, you want to combine two HTML elements together and three HTML elements together, then you're going to use them within divs. So I'm just going to say um, in here. I'm going to provide it with a paragraph. And within here, we're going to use a Jinja variable. So I'm going to say question. So this is the Jinja variable. When I do dot, 
What does that mean? So when I, whenever I do dot, it means that we, we are basically trying to access our database, right? So whenever you do dot, because Jinja is Flask and Flask is OOP paradigm, we can use the dot operator, which is very cool within our HTML file as well. The dot operator basically signifies that we are following an OOP paradigm. So within this DB, whenever you grab the first item, what is the first item? The first item sort of resembles a dictionary, right? In Python. When you say dot, you have two keys. How many keys? Two keys. So you're going to have question key number one, and you're going to have answer key number two. So if you say question, which is the name of your Jinja variable, dot question in here, then it means that you're basically selecting this text. If you say question dot answer, you're basically selecting this. So I'm going to say question dot question. I hope you're not getting confused. The first question is the Jinja variable. The second one is a key within our database because we connect it to our database. Remember, we connect it to that here. We have not used it within the render template. We are going to use that. So probably I should have shown you first that. So let's say we have a question variable. We are going to set it to the questions database. So whenever you say question, you're basically saying questions database because both of them are equal to each other. So questions database, which is equal to question dot question is going to give you the question for that. And then I'm going to create another division with a class of answer. And then you're going to have paragraph with a ginger variable. So this time question dot answer is going to refer to the answer from that database. Let's save that. Let's reload this. So what do we have here? We have the question, which is what breed of cat has a reputation for being cross-eyed? And then we have the answer. So this is how we load our data from the database, from the JSON file into our HTML. So if I, if I were to open it with live server, it is just a lot of mumbo jumbo. Nothing sensible there. And we connect it to it using our view function. Now, uh, there is actually a reason that you are just seeing one question, because in our final application, what we have is we have a next question button. Like you click on it and you're going to go to the next question. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, show the, the user all the questions in the home page. But within the quiz page, which within the quiz.html, the users are going to see every individual question, not all of them. And then the user is going to have the option to go to the home page or remove that question. You remember the project introduction, right? That's how I've actually tried to, I've actually created this application. So everything is ordered. Everything has like a, a specific um, arrangement that I've uh, kept in mind in whenever, uh, when I created this application. So with this, our uh, data, our uh, data model or model layer or model component comes to an end. See you in the next lecture.